Hello everyone and welcome back for another Trinity Stamps video. This is Cassie. Today we are going to be making some backgrounds using some dyes, but let's talk about what we're using first. We've got our Gnome One More Adorable stamp set. It also has the matching dyes to go along with it. And I had some stamped up and colored images all ready to go, so we're going to use those. That was my inspiration. And then I also have this Simply Sentimental Baby stamp set along with its matching die. Um, you guys know I love these Simply Sentimentals. I feel like they're just a staple. And then the Garden Flowers is brand new. That's a die set that we're going to be using to make some backgrounds. I was very inspired by what I had already colored up, and I'll show you those. Um, sometimes, I don't know if you're like me, I like to just stamp things out in color and then make cards later, not even sure where I'm going with it, which is the case with these two. But as soon as I saw this Garden Flowers uh, die set, I knew I wanted to make some backgrounds using that. So I've gone ahead and die cut out a bunch of pieces. We've got some leaves. We also have the centers of some flowers. We have a ton of flowers that I have die cut out. And I'm going to be using some little finger blenders and we're going to use some rusty hinge and we're going to blend that into the centers and blend that out. Now I have this many flowers because I plan to double them up. I don't know if that's, I mean, you can do what you want, I guess, but I don't know if that was the intention of these. Uh, but that's what I'm going to do. And Miles is going to come in and check, and I think he's pleased. So we're going to start putting them together. And I'm just going to stagger them. I'll put a little glue in the center, bring in another flower, and then that way it really fills out that flower. That's what I was going for. And then once I have all of those put together, which I'm going to have seven and an extra, uh, just an extra piece, so I can save that for another card. I'm going to take a piece of mint tape and I'm going to tack down all of the centers. This die die cuts both the flower and the center, so I figured with the yellow that would be easy enough to do. So I'll bring in another finger blender and we are going to blend, pardon my fingers not being up there, we're going to blend some brown onto this yellow. I'm starting with some vintage photo. And then I'm eventually going to bring in some scorched timber on the sides just to darken it up on one area, but give a little variation in that color. So we'll put away that vintage photo and bring in the scorched timber, which is such a beautiful dark brown. Um, love that this is a part of the collection now. And it's funny that we're complete, I guess. <laughs> it's kind of funny to think about. But yeah, so anyway... I woke up at 3 a.m. with this idea. Oftentimes, I like to just come together with an idea of like we a whole card concept from start to finish. But since I'd already colored and stamped out these images, and I did that on some Expressit cardstock using some blackout ink and then colored them with my alcohol markers, I had to come up with a background way to do this. So like I said, totally inspired by the colors that were already on there. And I figured I would do the flowers and the leaf. And since this die set has all of that, I figured it would be perfect. So there are those flowers. I am so happy with them. I have a piece of green cardstock that I've cut down to be the size of an A2 size card, and I am bringing in, I think this is Rustic Wilderness, along with my Blending Buddy, and I'm going to blend that from the bottom up, and I'm focusing on that left-hand side and going halfway up on that right-hand side. We're going to keep that fairly dark. I feel like that grounds this piece a little bit. Sometimes it's hard for me to just put stuff right on top of a... Um, a background or a, a piece of cardstock that doesn't have some sort of texture or something to it. I'm going to splatter a little bit of silver paint on that background. You could very easily bring in some just silver embellishments if you wanted, if you don't have any paint like that. But that's what I chose to do. So now I've got the word baby die cut out of our Simply Sentimental Baby. And then I'm going to just use a little bit of liquid glue along with my reverse tweezers and we can put that over the shadow. That shadow was cut out of some craft cardstock. And then we'll just, yeah, finish up with that. And then I'll bring in some of the sentiments from both the Simply Sentimental Baby and our Gnome One More Adorable. Uh, I don't actually, I don't think I do the Gnome One More Adorable on this one. I think I put it on the inside of the next card that I make. I might have actually put it on the inside of this one. I don't show you the inside because I think I just stamped sentiments. So that's where we're at. But now I'm going to start assembling the front of our card. So I've kind of arranged how I want these flowers to be. And then I'll glue those down and I'm only gluing down the bottom flower and we're kind of overlapping them a little bit. They stick off the, the sides very slightly, but they still go into an envelope. If that bothers you, you could trim that down. 
but I do like sometimes for my images to go outside of just a little bit outside of the, the front of the card. It gives the illusion that there's just more going on. So, and then I want to leave a little space in the center there so I can pop up our little image, our cute little gnome that's resting with its little caterpillar like stuffed animal. <laughs> How cute is that? So yeah, there's lots of great sentiments in this one. I'm going to go ahead and stamp welcome for our baby sentiment. And I'm going to use some VersaFine Claire Nocturne ink. That just stamps really crisp and black. And since I've already splattered this with some silver, that'll go over that better than just stamping with a regular black dye-based ink. I'm going to cover the backs of these with some adhesive foam strips. And then I'll peel off that release paper once I have those backs covered. And then I can just stick those down on top of my card panel. And then we can attach that to the card front. Now, this is the next card. I went ahead, I turned off my camera, I guess. I've been, it's been craziness around here. And so I think I was on a phone call. But I did take a piece of blue cardstock, did the same kind of concept, used some prize ribbon and, and I blended that on the top and then splattered that with some gold paint. And now I've got leaves. I've got the leaves in two different colors, a darker green and a lighter green. I used some pine needles there. And then I'm also gonna use some mowed lawn on the other ones, but we're going to start layering those up. And I am going to have those go off the edges. I am going to trim that down. So we'll just kind of stack those on top of each other, kind of overlapping a little bit, almost like a little pile of leaves. Because as you can see, our one little gnome is laying on a leaf. So here we go, blending out some more green. And then we'll clean up our mess. And we'll start stacking those up as well. I'll use that extra leaf on the inside of the card. Sorry, I don't show you the inside. I don't know what I was thinking. And so, yeah, we'll just start uh, stacking up our leaves, overlapping them in different ways. Left the darker ones on the bottom to make it look like those were more of your base leaf. So that makes sense. And then I am going to trim off this little piece here and we'll attach it on the other side underneath that leaf or maybe over the top. I don't remember. We'll see, won't we? Yep, over the top. And then we'll just stick that down. And then we can trim off the rest of the leaves. And that definitely gives the illusion that it, there's more going on outside of this card. And I just, oh, I think it's so cute. So fun. This one's going to be a shower card. Love it. And we'll attach that down to a card base, just a white card base. Like I said, I think I stamped some words on the inside and used that extra leaf in there. And then I stamped out the words, you're having a, and then we'll use foam square or the adhesive foam strips on the back of baby and also on the back of our little baby. And then that's going to finish off both of our cards for today. So yeah, use those die cuts. I hope this inspires you to want to get a little inky. If you like this video, be sure to hit that like button. Definitely consider subscribing if you haven't already done so. And be sure to check out all that Trinity Stamps has going on over on their blog, Facebook page, and Instagram for more crafty inspiration. Thanks for stopping by and we'll see you soon.